we're live. What's up, my friends? Welcome to the uh, weekly edition of my shirt is dirty. I leaned up against something. Uh, welcome to Art Talk here on Facebook Live. Uh, I hope some of you will take the time to join us and uh, talk about some creative power that we're going to delve into a little bit today. Over the next 15 minutes or so, uh, we're a live show on, on Facebook and uh, uh, we generally get quite a few people in. Uh, I don't know where everybody is today, but uh, we're going to be talking about a variety of interesting things today. It is Monday. It's Memorial Day. Uh, happy Memorial Day to you. And I hope that you guys are having a spectacular uh, memorial uh, holiday, uh, whatever, you know, that happens. Uh, but um, we certainly want to put a, a shout out to all our armed forces, everybody who is... Uh, Certainly made our lives safer and, and all the varieties that they have. Uh, good morning, Chris Erickson. Good good morning and welcome to Art Talk. Um, I hope things are uh, going well for you and you're selling homes and you're doing all kinds of neat neat stuff. I'll give you a wave. Um, I don't know if it works, but uh, I press the button. See what happens. Uh, this is Art Talk. Uh, Sherry uh, Jorgensen, thank you for joining us uh, today on, uh, on Art Talk. Uh, we're not we're steering clear of all the numbers and stuff now because we we just got way too many things going on. But we got some some news today, some very exciting news that I'm going to announce, and along with some of the other stuff that we're doing. But today's subject that we're going to get into is the secret power of vibration of words. Yes, uh, Kenny, what's up, Kenny? Good to see. You. I hope you're out there driving your Ferrari like a madman, or just actually just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself driving around. Um, we we are seeing a lot of post-virus um, uh, bliss, as we shall say. Uh, people less um, uh, 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 cooped up in their homes and getting out and doing stuff. Malibu was nuts. Uh, you can tell that Malibu is turned on because uh, yesterday uh, there were so many sirens. Uh, not anything serious, but fender benders, you know, little things that happen. Uh, that in some cases, if you fender bender with a a Bentley or Ferrari, that can be a little little pricey. Uh, love you too, Kenny. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Danny Mink, thanks for joining us. Uh, today we are off-roading. Yeah, well, that sounds cool. I'll be right there with you, buddy. Uh, today, uh, Kathy and I are going to be uh, doing a bike ride, which I'm kind of excited about. We're going to go up to, to Zuma, and we're going to bike ride from Trancas down to Free Beach and have lunch and all that kind of stuff. So, Let's get into today's art talk. I do have a big announcement. Uh, very excited about this. Uh, it's huge because um, it's been a long time in in the the works, and uh, we finally have a date, I believe, uh, that we're going to be shooting for. But as you know, my name is Fireball. This show is Art Talk. We're trying to help you guys be creatively powerful, creative, creatively strong, uh, get out there and improve your lives by through creative means so that you can enjoy yourself, do what you love. And uh, many people do, like uh, Tim McDougall of Sotheby's gave me this shirt. It's not printed backwards. That's not backwards. That's actually backwards. You know, it's just shot reverse. But um, uh, as you guys know, we have a brand new coloring book coming out, which is Camaro. I'm going to show you some sketches from that book. It comes out in about a week. Very excited about this. Uh, you guys are the only guys that get to see the sketches before it comes out. But after that book, we are we are doing a hot rod book, which I'm equally excited about, uh, and uh, we have some some plans with the uh, Ventura Nationals uh, because that's going to be rolling around soon. But the big news, the big news is we are doing the official Tony Dow coloring book. Ha! Crazy, crazy. Uh, I've been having lots of meetings with my friend Tony. And as you know, Tony was uh, Wally on Leave It to Beaver, and he has has an absolutely stellar, stellar following, an amazing following. So we uh, reached an agreement, and uh, uh, we are going to be doing the official Tony Dow coloring book uh, that's going to launch August first. So that's going to be available then. It's all it's full of you know it has some Leave It to Beaver stuff in it, and it, and it's full of all of Tony's passions, which are cars and sea life, which is right on brand for us because Fireball Publishing is all about cars and all about the ocean, and it's uh, it's going to be killer, it's going to be killer. I'm just very excited about that to announce that for you guys. And uh, let's take a look at a couple of the sketches. Uh, there's a sketch that I'm actually working on today. It's not done yet, uh, but this is a uh, heavily modified cop Camaro. Uh, which is pretty cool. And this is the Destroyer. 
So uh, as you know, here at Fireball Publishing, we don't do you know regular cars, regular Camaros. Anybody can, anybody who can draw can draw a regular Camaro. Why do that when you can do shit like this? Killer, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, even this one, this one's a bit nutty, but it's not as insane as the Thug, which is the last one I showed you guys the last time. That's the Thug. That's uh, based on my brother's uh, car that uh, existed. Uh, the the blower was a little smaller on his car. Just a little. This is like a six foot, seven foot blower. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, that's what's happening with the Camaro book. Let me put these guys back so I don't like ruin the sketches. These are like gold. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of them. I'll put them over here. Yep. Uh, and then uh, today's book is the Hollywood Muscle. Yes. So if you uh, if you are a fan of Knight Rider or Jurassic Park or Christine, you can get the Hollywood Muscle book, which is uh, full of movie cars. Super cool. Uh, there's all of our books there. Uh, and and as you know, uh, well, maybe some of you, maybe some of you don't know, but here at Fireball Publishing, 10% of proceeds goes for every book, goes to either 4Ocean, which is a company that, that cleans up the oceans, or to uh, Hope for Paws, which is a dog rescue in downtown LA. They do an amazing job, 10% of proceeds. But of our Malibu book, uh, specifically 100% of proceeds goes to uh, fire recovery and anything that we can do to help the the uh, uh, the local town here um, uh, to recover from, let's say, corona or anything else. I did get a post from somebody who did a car show up in Bishop, and he said the only corona that he saw at that car show was uh, several bottles of beer. That was about it. You know, uh, there was no sign of any viruses or anything. Else. Good news, we are in recovery mode. We're kicking some ass, right? Salvatore, that's right. Uh, Lou, what's up, Lou? Maybe we should do a Starsky and Hutch solely Starsky and Hutch coloring book. No, I'd get in trouble if I did that. Yeah, that's okay. We're not doing a Leave it to Beaver coloring book. We're doing a Tony Dow book. Many people, uh, what's up, Sean? My, Sean? my brother Sean's watching. Good to see you. Uh, Ian Holiday, Robert Smith, Charles Towery, uh, Chris Osi is two with the restaurants opening up. Yes, woo <laughs> so excited about the world turning back on. Someone's got the key, flipping the switch. That's a good thing. Uh, and then don't miss today's vlog. We did a, uh, uh, we have a vlog that went up this morning, uh, some hiking and some uh, beauty, beautiousness. Uh, it's free free I mean, not the, the vlog is the vlog is free yeah no but my point is if you go on a hike hikes are free they don't cost anything so you, and you get the the best possible uh return on your investment which is peace and joy and and tranquility and absolute amazingness so get out there go outside uh this light is really blinding my ass right now did that help? That doesn't make a difference. Whatever, whatever. Today's subject for Art Talk, as you know, here on Art Talk, we're trying to help you guys be creatively powerful uh, to give you the tools, tips, and tricks uh, that uh, will hopefully, hopefully help you uh, to be, cre be creatively strong and to maybe go down some roads that you haven't gone down in quite some time. Uh, we are now not only on Facebook, but uh, it gets uh, recorded here. It gets placed on Facebook for the rest of the day, but then it also goes up on YouTube. So if you miss something, I'm in low bower, battery mode. What did I do? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, it goes on up, up on YouTube, so you can watch it in. I love saying this word, perpetuity, perpetuity. I gotta go take a perpetuity. <laughs> I just like that word. I, I don't know what that really means that much. You know, um, uh, today's subject: the secret power vibration of words. Secret power. Let's talk about this, shall we? Because we have to use words to talk about the secret vibrational power of words the secret the secret power vibration of words the secret vibrational power i don't care i'm going to use one of those titles because that i think they both work well let's 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 discuss this for a second the first the first part is that that words the use of our voice uh i create a sound with my voice my voice sounds like this everybody's voice sounds slightly different and we learn as a child to go from gaga goo goo, and I'm not making any any sense with our words to learning words, and then it's not so much about the the word itself and saying a word; it's the the feeling behind the word that is what really gives it power, right? So when you say "I love you," or you say "I love you," 
you know, you're saying the same thing, but your your feeling behind it is different. And that's really the key. That is that is the the impetus. That's the secret behind your your power vibration of words. And so we have to understand that words themselves are a vibration. It's a vibration in the vocal cords. And that vibration, much like uh, you know, when when a an opera singer uh, sings and they break a, a glass, which we've seen so many times, uh, there is no uh, connecting rod between your voice and the the glass. Uh, someone didn't take a hammer, kink, or or there's no wires going to the glass. Uh, it's simply that the tonality of your voice affects the glass and can shatter the glass. Now, if that's the case, and we all accept that as being true, pardon me, I had a little bit of peanut butter granola this morning, and it's deciding to uh, go in multiple directions. <laughs> if our words are vibrational, and that vibration does uh, emanate out, what does that mean for us? What does that mean for us? Uh, and it's important to understand that the entire state of California, the entire United States, the entire planet, the entire universe is based on vibration. It's based on vibration. It's something we can't see. Now, you know, clouds and electricity, all that stuff is vibration. Everything is vibration. Uh, and when we use our voice and we say, uh, we say anything with our voice, then we emanate a vibration. We emanate a feeling that goes out. And when we emanate that feeling that goes out, that vibration connects with other vibrations that are similar, the same. And much like how, how water droplets, two water droplets go in and, and hit uh, in a pond, and then they vibrate back to us, right? So we get back the same, vib the same vibrational tonality that we, that we send out. So if we criticize someone, they generally criticize us back, right? But here's the key, is that we don't get back the same that we emanate out, we get back more, sometimes 10 up to 100 fold more when we send something out. So when you say, I love you, you know, not everybody's gonna respond and say, um, I love you too. They're gonna say, yeah, how much money do you want, right? So it all depends on the situation, but my, my point is that when you put true feeling behind it and you say, I really love driving, I really love cars, I really love you guys, then that vibration that goes out is, uh, can be a very strong emotional connection. So uh, as that vibration emanates, it attaches and it makes its way back to you, kind of like a, a boomerang, and it's tenfold. Now, why am I saying this? What, what's the point of this? How, we can, how can we best use this in our lives to, to enhance and expand and make our lives better somehow? Well, the thing about making your life better is you have to understand that what, what is going to make your life better? And that's really a simple question to answer, Dick Malcolm. What's up, Theo Earnhardt? Uh, it's actually a simple answer is that we all want more joy in our lives. We all want to be happier. We all want more peace. We want to be healthier. Uh, we want to uh, have love in our lives. We want to do the things that we want to do. Uh, we want to stop doing the things that we don't like, right? It's like you don't go to a restaurant and order Brussels sprouts if you don't like Brussels sprouts. But if you add a little bit of garlic and, and, and butter on them, huh, they're pretty killer. Roast them, I'm getting sidetracked. My point is, if, you, if you, you're not gonna go to a restaurant and order something you don't like. Yet, with our words, many times, we order things we don't like by criticizing people, by criticizing situations. Remember, when you, when you speak and you emanate out with feeling, that's gonna come back to you. So if you criticize someone, then you're going to get criticism back to you. Maybe not necessarily from that person, but from somewhere you're going to get criticism and you're going to get tenfold, hundredfold. So you got to be very careful. You want to, you want to be careful what, if, you, if you criticize somebody. If you go online and you start talking about your fears of the virus, you start talking about how uh, uh, Trump is doing this and Trump is doing that, or you love this or you love that or you, you hate this or you hate that. It doesn't really matter what your beliefs are. Everyone is, is entitled to believe exactly what they, they believe. If you love this and you don't love this, you're good. It's good. Everyone's got you know, their opinions. The, the challenge comes down to when I say uh, I love this and you guys are wrong for not loving it like I do. That's when the problem starts. That's where how wars start. 
right? All, all, all this stuff emanates, uh, escalates in a, in a big way. You just have to get out there and bring more joy to you. And so if, if that's where you're going, if that's where you want to go with your life and you want to expand your joy and expand your experience, then you have to be clear the right words to use to bring that to you, right? You can't say, I'm broke. You can't say, I'm, I'm penniless. You can't say, I can't make money. You can't say, I'm, you know, anything negative towards money and expect to make it. It doesn't work that way. You can't get healthy if you constantly um, talk about that you're feeling like shit all the time, right? You can't, you can't get healthy. That It doesn't work that way. It's a mathematical equation. Two plus two is always four. It's not like two, like, like, like three and a half. It's always the same. And this is exactly the same. You can't give out critical um, thoughts and words to people and expect people to love you. Right? In order to get love, you have to give love. In order to, to have joy in your life, you have to be joyful. Right? It's not that complicated, complicated to, to think that way. But you have to remember that when you're challenged, when people challenge you and they come up and they criticize you, to not give back because they're trying to drag you down in vibration. You have to raise yourself up in vibration. That's why Jesus talked about turning the other cheek. Don't give your attention to the shit in the world. You know, people get sucked in all the time. Someone says, rah, 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 and you turn around and go, rah, 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 and you go give them a hard time. Then you suddenly have dropped yourself down into this, this muck. So I want you guys to work on that this week. You get to work on that this week. You're living, you're a living creature, a living being. You get to experience joy if you choose joy. You get to experience love if you choose love. You get to experience prosperity if you choose prosperity, but you have to choose with your words. We're talking about words today, okay? You gotta think before you speak. You gotta, and what does that mean? Think about what do I want my outcome to be? And if my outcome is badassery, then I have to say words of badassery. Like, you guys are badasses. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Right? You got to be able to be willing to say that. And you got to feel it. Okay? Uh, Bobby, what else we got? Sherry says, Brussels sprouts are the best. Be open to their glory. <laughs> the glory of the Brussels sprout. Um, that's a whole talk in itself, I think, pretty much. Yeah, you know, lots of different ways to be able to to make uh, uh, joy through Brussels sprouts. Um, someone's going to do a video on that. If they haven't already, there's probably like 32,000 videos on Brussels sprouts on YouTube right now. After as soon as you're done. Tim McDougall. What's up, buddy? Boop, boop, boop. What's up? It's backwards. I'm sorry about that. I can't really do anything about that. Um, we're talking about the difference between expansion and contraction. When you, when you, uh, uh, when you compliment a child, they beam, right? And they feel that, well, they did a, a good job and they can expand and they can grow and they'll keep doing. You tell them, wow, you did a great job drawing. You did a great job in math. You did a great job of this. But if you criticize them, you got a B, a B instead of an A, right? And you criticize them, then they contract. And the child in us does exactly the same thing. You can do that to anybody. Uh, you can get on when you see uh, a video, or you or you see someone say something online, or or anything that that doesn't look good. Pardon me, boy, that peanut butter. Woohoo! Um, you 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 can ex you can contract someone's experience and your own when you you get in there and you cause a ruckus. And we have to learn to understand the direction that we're going. Kathy's watering outside. Watering the plants. It's going to be a gorgeous day today. 72 in Malibu. Uh, come to Malibu. Hang out. It's it's Monday. It's Memorial Day. Everybody came yesterday, and no one's coming back. So now's your time to come out and do some hiking. Tim McDougall. Okay. Expansion, not contraction. Um, may, you know the, the thing is that to to become aware of your job of trying to help people feel purposeful. That's our goal. That's our goal. The more that you can help. Ricky McDougall, whether you can help uh, people feel purposeful, as in that they have a purpose, and that today they can fulfill their purpose. And if their purpose is is uh, bringing joy and love and happiness to their own personal experience, as well as bringing it to other people, 
in some way, whatever your creative expression is, it might be a coloring book. You know, it might be a t-shirt, like a Sotheby's t-shirt. How did I get this? How, how did I end up wearing this? I don't know. <laughs> or it's not VM backwards F, Fireball Malibu vlog. I've gotten so many people asking me, what does it stand for? It's like, dude, really? Yeah, that's, that's the deal. That's our show, okay? It went up today. You can watch the hikes today. The more that we can help people feel purposeful, <sighs> that comes down to giving. You know how it feels when you give. When you buy a gift for somebody or you tell them how great they look, they beam, and you feel good as a result. Okay? Practice that today as a creative expression. As a creative expression, practice that today. Dennis Burnham, get out there. Uh, go to the store. If you're going to go to Ralph's, you're going to go buy something. Or if you're going to go to the store, you're going to go get gas or you know whatever you're going to do today. Make it a point today that you're going to compliment somebody, somebody somewhere. And you're going to tell somebody, you know what? Things are looking really good. This is looking good today. You guys are doing a great job. Look at that wall. You painted that wall. It looks really good. Hey, you built that. It looks really good. Hey, I really like your shoes. Whatever. Make a conscious effort. Try to compliment people. I'm not talking about an airy fairy, uh, 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 baloney type of feeling. I'm talking about come from a place of honesty. You know, give your kids a call. Give your parents a call. Give somebody's parents a call. Give your, well, you may not want to call your, your, your uh, mother-in-law. Yeah. That's a big risk. It's a big risk. You may not get exactly what you expect, but you can try. It's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> you always have a trunk with your car you can put her in. Did I say that out loud? I think I did. Can I delete? I can't delete. This is live. <laughs> I didn't mean it, mother-in-laws. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, that's what I got for you today on our talk. Isn't that exciting? That's it. That's what I got. We're at 22 minutes uh, right on the nose. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you get a chance, one to reiterate, we do have the the Camaro coloring book coming. Then we have a hot rod coloring book and we made a big announcement. If you missed it, we are doing August 1st, the official Tony Dow coloring book. <laughs> Only us. Uh, just sat down with Tony and said, hey, we should do a coloring book. And he's like, yeah, we should do that. It's a good idea. Let's just let's go for it. So I'm going to start drawing that. And you guys are going to get a chance to see that. We're going to be posting some of those sketches as we go. And then we're going to we're gonna launch the book. August 1st is going to be cool. It's going to be cool, right? Why not? Why not? All right. That's what I got for you guys today. Practice this week. Practice this week with your words. Use some, some badassery. Have fun storming the castle. As they say, remember that? If you can remember what movie that was from, anybody? Princess Bride. Watch Princess Bride. It's a killer movie, amazing movie. Okay, guys, have a spectacular week. Get out there, make a difference, bring some badassery and some love and joy to people, and especially bring it to yourself. All right, we'll see you guys during the week with all kinds of fun stuff coming up. Bye. Bye.